The shamans that I had the privilege of working with understood that we have a luminous energy field that surrounds the physical body and that informs the physical body, that organizes the physical body in the same way that the energy fields of a magnet will organize iron filings on a piece of glass. And that you had to intervene to heal the body at the level of the luminous energy field, at the level of the blueprint, that if you only intervened at the body through surgery or medication without clearing the blueprint, that whatever condition you were suffering from would re-express itself. The luminous energy field is shaped like a donut, which in geometry is, the shape is known as a torus. And it's a donut with a very narrow hole in it. So if you can imagine a flux of energy coming up through our feet, through our bodies, out the very top of our head, and expanding the width of our outstretched arms, and this energy flowing up through the feet, up to the legs, and down the outside of the body again, and then up again, and you rotate that 360 degrees, you end up with a torus. This is the shape of the luminous energy field when we're in nature. When we're in a city, this, this donut of energy c collapses and becomes very, very tight, like a cocoon, a very tight cocoon around the physical body. But when we're back in nature or in our natural states, it's very expansive. This luminous energy field is what contains the imprints of our early life experiences, of genetically inherited illnesses, even of memories before we were born, when we were still in the uterus and before. When we learn to perceive the luminous energy field, we learn to perceive the luminous nature of life. The visual spectrum, what the eye can see, is a very narrow band of the electromagnetic spectrum. Very, very small. Most of what's happening in the universe is happening outside of the visual spectrum. When we learn to perceive with our inner eyes, with the eyes that can perceive the luminous nature of life, we recognize our interconnectedness with all things, with the stars, with the rivers, with the mountains, with the valleys, with each other, with the past and with our future. To perceive the luminous energy field, we have to part the veils, so to speak. We need to break out of the cultural trance that we've all been educated into that defines in a very narrow and limited way the nature of reality. That defines what you can and cannot do because you were born a woman. What I can or may not experience because I was born a man. That prescribes who we are, scripts who we are at this moment in history. We have to step out of that cultural trance that we begin to learn from kindergarten on.